Hey friends, so today is going to be a pretty quick coffee break because I have four and a half minutes. I didn't actually know if I was going to do this. Um, I, of course, last week I was like, oh yeah, there's gonna be videos up in between coffee breaks. And that obviously did not happen. I have been very busy. I'm not even gonna waste my time making excuses, but I have just been fighting with a new camera, which again is changing. <laughs> if you notice some different quality lately, I'm hoping that this is going to really help. And you'll wanna watch my vlog that is going to be up on Saturday. I'm hoping I'll have something up for you guys Saturday where I go into more detail, but that is not what this coffee break is about. So last week, my coffee break was super caffeinated. This week, I'm feeling I'm just feeling a little melancholy. This coffee is amazing though. I'm just really still struggling. I think we are all going through so much right now and I don't know about you guys, but I feel like I have really great highs where I'm like, life is still great, we're alive. I mean, this is such a struggle and a hardship for so many people, but we are banding together and we're doing what we can for our families, our friends, and the strangers that we come in contact with. And then other times I just feel the weight of everything. And it's, it's a lot. Um, I woke up late for work today because I literally like just could not shut my brain off last night and I couldn't go to sleep and I just felt so much anxiety and stress and just panic and I couldn't sleep. So I overslept. <laughs> And I'm just, I'm feeling frustrated. And that's because I watch the news, you know, and like, I think it's important. You have to watch the news and you have to stay informed and you have to know what's going on in the world. But when you do, if you have any sort of anxiety, it can just, it can just screw with your head. But here's where I'm at right now. And I'm going to be saying a lot of you. And I don't mean you specifically watching. I more just mean the collective you <laughs> or the collective society or just people and specifically one certain type of person. You know the ones, the ones that are deciding to go to state capitals armed with automatic rifles or say that they want the government to open up because they need to get their hair done. That's the you that I'm referring to, not you specifically. So please don't take offense and if you do feel like anything that I'm saying or you don't want to hear my thoughts on this stuff, please just tune out. We'll talk about writing or reading or something. We'll eventually talk about that book I wanted to talk about. Um, we'll do that maybe next week. But for right now, I just want to say this. Just because you can go out doesn't mean you should. And it definitely means that if you are going to go out, take precautions. Stay away from other people. Um, wear a mask because science tells us that wearing a mask will protect you and it will keep you from infecting other people. Like, would you want to go and hurt somebody? Would you want to go and potentially kill somebody else because you didn't feel like wearing a mask when you went out? Or because it was just so important that you got your freaking roots done that you didn't wear precautions, you didn't think about what you were doing, and, and you were just so selfish that you just got this virus or infected other people because you can be a carrier and not even know that you are a carrier of this virus. And that is a scary thing. I just feel so frustrated because I feel like these governments are opening up even though very few states are even hitting the guidelines saying this is how you can open up. Make sure you have declining cases. They're having cases going up and they're still saying, hey, everybody go out. People are going to the beaches, they're going to parks. They're not social distancing. If you wanna be going out of your house, go for it. It sucks being cooped up here, it sucks. And I know that people are broke and people are scared and people don't know where their next paychecks are gonna come from or they're waiting on unemployment that hasn't come through yet. And so for for that reason, I understand opening the government and I understand that the economy is in, is in a bad position, but at the same time, would you rather be broke or would you rather be dead? This is the situation that we're in and it's you're stuck between a rock and a hard place no matter what you do and I understand that and I'm not insensitive to that and I know that I am incredibly lucky to work for a company that is allowing me to work from home and to take a break in which I sit here and I say these things and I talk about the things that I feel like. So I know that I am 
lucky and I am thankful for my opportunity to be able to stay at home and to be able to still make money and provide for my family. I know there are a lot of people that are not out there in that position and that those are not the people I'm frustrated with. If you want to go out because you want to go to work and because you are tired of being stuck at home and you want to provide for your family, that's the right reason to want to go out. But wanting to go out just because you want to go out and you're not going to take precautions, that's just dumb and it's selfish and it's rude. And it's dangerous is what it really is, is it is dangerous. Now, if you're going to go out, please wear a mask. I have the most ridiculous getup. I have a mask. I have these goggles because I wear glasses. And if somebody sneezes on my glasses, I'm throwing them out and I have one pair. So I have these goggles I put on and I wear rubber gloves and I look like a freak. But I also come home and I shower <laughs> and I wash my clothes. I scrub my groceries. Like I am crazy about this thing. But I also know that I'm not sick and I'm not going to infect anybody else. And that's what it comes down to is I don't give a crap if I look fucking ridiculous because I know that I'm coming home and my my kids and my family are safe and I'm not giving this to other people. So I hope that you do enjoy, if you do go out, enjoy the sunlight, enjoy getting a coffee, enjoy those things that we did before, but just be smart and be safe. I hope this video is okay. So please do me a favor, go write some words and read a book and I will see you guys very soon and I won't be so blue and like preachy. This was like a super preachy video and I'm sorry about that, but that's a coffee break.